Let's go. <sighs> Merida, I'm coming to you. There you are. Hi. Yay. <laughs> hey, can you hear me? I can hear you. This is uh, so cool. <laughs> Unpin me. There we go. So we just got big you, you on the screen. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Wow, H, it has been amazing. I love listening to your presentations and there's always something new that I pick up and that offer, what are you thinking of? No, sorry. <laughs> brilliant, brilliant. Okay, so low carb low. I've known it as fat and seedy for all my time. <laughs> well, it's now the low carb. So first up, I've got, and I don't want to tip this too far, <laughs> well, I've got my eggs. So I cut my eggs, put them in the bowl, all good to go. Now I always make the low carb low by hand. I don't use a mixer. Um, I just, it's so easy and I just like to touch and feel and be like with the food. Um, I should also say as well, while I'm being a little bit hippy, I always offer up a little gratitude prayer to whoever it is that's listening, just to say, hey, I'm loving what I'm doing. Thank you so much. And may the food touch the people that it needs to touch and, you know, make an impact in their life too. So that was that. In with the zucchini. I created the zucchini. I also sometimes use a little um, chopper mixer thing, you know, like the stick blender with the chopper bit. I sometimes use that, but honestly, creating it is as easy as it needs to be. And then I'm just going to fall up here, just mixing that around. It's so easy. Now, I will give you the heads up. I haven't put the oven on because I'm having to go out after this because my computer died overnight and I need to get it to the repair shop. So, I'm not going to bake, but I'm doing the rest of it. Thank you, Catherine. Um, I have a lovely chat with Catherine a couple of times. Um, so, in with the seeds. We measured them for ease and time. Just going to give them a little mix up. Um, it's kind of already looking really wholesome. And then in with the um, almond meal and salt. She goes there. This is just where you get to work those muscles a little bit, which I'm still working on building up. Got the little, <laughs> little chicken wing going on there. Little mix. Doesn't take long to incorporate it. I think um, H, if you're using the Thermomix or some other mixer, you just need to be really mindful to do it on reverse speed because we want these seeds to be whole as much as we can, so not like too choppy choppy, which is another reason why I like to do them just by a hand. I've got my log tins, lined them already. So, so easy. I don't, can you see down there yet? Cool. My partner's the AV guy at work, so he set up this system that I wasn't sure I could work. <laughs> Busy testing it this morning, stand there, stand on this mark. Make sure you're in the right spot. So just scraping in, making sure. So with your rod boxes, you've got the packet mix, which I didn't have any made up. Um, so you will make one log, whereas the better piece, um, the batches make two. Just spreading them out on the top there. And then a slightly noisy bit. So just hold your ears for a moment. I'm going to give it a little tap on the workbench. Just let it settle into the tin. Don't want any holes. Little sprinkle of seeds on the top. And in your rod boxes, you would have got a little sachet of seeds. Just sprinkle them on. They are good to go in the oven. Too easy. So um, I'll pretend to put them in the oven. <laughs> and I'll just hold them over here. <laughs> and I'll grab you the one that I made last oh, night. Oh, wow. That's amazing. For the family. So um, what you'll find is that you never get two the same. 
they're always a little bit different and that's probably one of the questions h that comes up so often isn't it is it does it does it look okay <laughs> and yeah it we're it's artisan made it's not made in a factory it's you know going to be dependent a little on the size of your egg although we use you know recipe stated sizes of things but it's always just a little bit different and so cool it's so cool that was a brilliant demonstration i should have used you Thank many you. many times before <laughs> brilliant <laughs> such a good camera angle and everything well done oh, <laughs> Bravo. Is, cool. any, anyone got any questions for Manda about baking and making? I love that little um, like blessing that you give on your baking. That's really sweet. I really like that. So cool. No questions. Well, that's pretty straightforward, isn't it? You just measure. Yeah, I just yeah. think, you know, if you know, when you're cooking anything at home. Oh, exactly. Exactly, but yeah, just to the blessing thing, H, when, you know when you get in the kitchen and you've had a really shitty day and whatever you make doesn't work properly? <laughs> I think it's so important for us just to, like you did at the beginning of this event, just centre and ground and just let all that go. And yeah, you know. Perfect. No, I love it. And it's the same as on like my kitchen rolls. And, um, you know, if they ever like botched up a dish, it was because the stress got into the food. And I really do. I really do think that, you know, food is um, it's it's all about energy. And I would much rather have something that is homemade with love by somebody who cares than just something that's pumped out in a factory. Right. Exactly. Wonderful. Right. Um, thank you for that. Are you sticking around for the panel or do you have to beat it? Um, I can be around for a little while. Oh, stay. Yep. Stay. Absolutely. I can stay. I'm going to, I'm going <laughs> to stop recording and start recording. That's the end of the baking demo. <laughs> then we'll get into the panel. I can see we've got Prime Minister Amy here, Prime Minister Tegs. Uh, it's wicked. Right. Okay.